Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. Water is draining from the vertical tube that was initially full. A vibrating tuning fork is held near the top of the tube. For two positions of the water surface only, the sound is at its maximum loudness. And the positions are given like this is the first position and this is the second position. This is the tube, this is the water, water is getting drained. The distance between the two positions of the maximum loudness, loudness is x. What is the wavelength of the sound emitted by the tuning fork? So basically, we want to find the wavelength of the sound wave that is entering into the tube. Like what is happening in this question? First of all, you are going to see this diagram time and again in your examinations, in your practice papers, in your test papers. And let us understand what is this. So what is happening here is this pipe is now acting like one end closed and another end open like this end is having water so the sound is not able to move like this medium is rarer and this medium is a denser so it's not like that the wave will not be entering into water it will be entering into water but this would be acting like a fixed fixed uh, fixed um, uh, end and so there will be a reflection of the wave also which will give rise to the standing wave in the air so having said that so why are we using this tuning fork we you would you could be getting these questions like we are using tuning forks or we are just blowing air over the open end of the tube so what are we technically doing we are trying to send a sound wave into the pipe and when it goes into the pipe it it have a rigid boundary there which is the surface of the water from there another wave gets reflected back the reflected wave is having same frequency and same wavelength as of the incident wave. That is why the superposition of the two will create the standing wave. So this is the phenomena that is taking place in this kind of questions. And you're going to see many of these kind of questions. That is why I'm saying. Okay, coming back to this question now. So <clears throat> they say that this is the first position when the loudness was heard. It must be first harmonic then. And so what will be the first harmonic and how will it be looking like? It will look like this, isn't it? Like this is the first harmonic. This is the open end. An open end is always an anti node. And closed end is always a node. So that is node. This is anti node. And this becomes the clear cut case of first harmonic. So I can say that the length here is x1. Just imagine. Now, this is the next position. Next position. Okay. I'm not saying the second position. It is the next position when the loudness is heard. Now, in this case, because this is the other end is the fixed end and this is the open end. So how is the next harmonic drawn? So the next harmonic is drawn like this. Like this. Like this. So this is the uh, drawing of the next harmonic. Now, what do you mean by harmonic? Harmonic actually means the first harmonic and in this case the first harmonic is lambda by 4 isn't it like the first harmonic is wavelength divided by 4 it is one fourth of the wavelength so how many one fourth wavelength are here two and this is the third one so the next harmonic is actually the third harmonic so in this case of one end open and one end closed We use these kind of formulas like F and the frequency is given by 4L. I'm sorry, this is V. The V is the velocity of the sound. So this is the general formula for the frequency that we use in open end. And only and only the odd multiples are available like 1, 3, 5 and like, likewise. So let us say that this length is X2. X2. So what do you think is X2 minus X1 as per the diagram is concerned? So you see this is X1, this is X2. What is this? Isn't it lambda by 2? Yes, this is the half of the wavelength. And what is X2 minus X1? X2 minus X1 is given as X and I'm just substituting it here. So it becomes lambda by 2. And from here you, re you reach this conclusion that lambda is equal to 2X. So accordingly, like the question is, what is the wavelength of the sound emitted by the tuning fork? So that should be lambda is equal to 2x. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. All the best.
Bye.